Hi, you welcome to another episode of Statement Value Lab. Today, we'll be quickly speaking about a particular video that went viral some days ago and um, people has called me a number of times, tagged me on the video to talk about it. Uh, actually, today we'll be going more into the line of expertise that is we'll be engaging experts in the field of electrical safety like i told us safety is a very wide field and contains different different professionalism so today we'll be engaging a particular uh safety expert in the line of electrical safety who is the safety officer regional safety officer for ibedc that's a bad electrical decision company here yeah, something like that so we'll be telling us about this we'll be using his voice note to explain this about the accident and those things that went wrong what actually went wrong what can we learn from this video and these are the things we'll be talking about today so join me as we listen to our professional mr mokhtar abdul hakim thank you yeah in that video what really happened is um talking more about right of way so when we are talking about right of way generally that is um the energized potential area of um, electricity so the reason why i showed you that slide you'll be able to see the right of way for um 120 132 kilo volt, um 33 kilo volt, 11 kilo volt. according to nfp or something there is a standard that they use there so you will see it in that slide and um also aside that um the major purpose behind this right of way is that most buildings when they are trying to locate their apartment um their building or trying to create their structure they should always ensure they prevent being encro encroaching into the right of way and more so um they should always ensure they give that distance of right of way from the power line like for instance now 11 kv line the right of way is 11 meter that is 5.5 meter radius around the circumference so and the same thing goes to 33 kv which is also 11 meter 5.5 meter circumference but i 132 that one is 11 22 meter which is 11 meter circumference so in nutshell what you're just trying to talk about is the building that they are building which has encroached into the right of way and life really matters so after they must have gotten that what can be done firstly people or passerby should report to the nearest um distribution substation or transmission company that a building is being constructed which is already encroaching into the right of way which with that it can be reported to uh it can be reported to distribution substations or transmission company which they could always come to come and seal up the building and prevent them from continuing or demolish the building if possible so but with the look of things the major reason is you see for instance now our power line many people are building houses on that power line forgetting that those lines when it drops can always cause a very huge uh hazard like fire death electrocution and so so on the right of way we should be talking about the electrical hazard the electrical burn we we'll be talking about electrical fire and so on and so forth but in nutshell these accidents in k in question is just majorly on right of way so when such an accident happens what is expected of them to do is to first call the nearest distribution substation around so as for them to help them remove potential that is uh isolate power from that line so by the time they isolate power from the line so it will be easy for them to drop down the guy but as at that moment when there is still power and rushing to go touch the guy forgetting that the guy is already energized then on touching the guy's leg together it's conducted another form of cycle which busted out of fire and probably it might not be that and probably maybe the light was restored because when an accident first happened there's always a trip so probably when there was a trip the lighting was restored which also led to them receiving that electric shock um as at that moment which brought out electric electrical fire so in nutshell what really matter most is that when such an incident happens they should always ensure they call 
the nearest distribution substation close to them so as for them to help them isolate the potential from there and come help them safely drop the person because they are not trained to drop someone with such high potential of electricity so from the voice message we have learned from the from the voice message what actually led to the accident and what aggra aggravated the accident like i used to say there's always a primary accident and there's always a secondary accident most times secondary accidents are always more severe than the primary accident in process safety there's what we call primary explosion and secondary explosion the primary one is the initial cause that we see the secondary one is one is the potential accident that is nearest to happening if the primary is not being controlled same thing applied to this we, we saw the primary uh, accident that happened and the secondary one was more severe so it means that before we attend to emergency situations we should make sure that things are in place before we attend to situations like this we should make sure that everything that could have led to the primary accident has been taken care of has been taken care of before we decide to offer emergency response directly and make sure that we are expertise in the field we are professionals in the field of re emergency response before we attend to emergency situations and this is what we have for us today thank you and god bless you remember to subscribe